Hey guys, Fusion Designs here, and uh, today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to make really nice text using Photoshop and Cinema 4D, and just some really cool text effects that might come in handy once in a while. So, uh, in Cinema 4D, I'm just going to go Mo Graph and Mo Text, and then I'm just going to make it say I Fusion, and I'm going to make the depth about. 120 and now click font I don't know why but whenever I click on fonts on my computer it starts getting all glitchy and says it's not responding up here but uh it'll come in a second oh that sentence did not come out properly um okay uh so just pick any text you want any font I'm gonna go with Bem Bass or Bem Mass or something. Anyways, um, just click OK, and there you've your text. What I like to do uh, is go Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste, and on the bottom Mo Text go Caps, Fillet Cap, and End Fillet Cap, and just put it on about a uh, three, and then move it back like a bit behind the first text layer and then uh, I'm just gonna get the colors now so uh, open up the color the color picker and uh, I'm gonna go with a complete white for the outside and I always turn off specular because I don't really like that but uh, then open up another color picker and I'm gonna go for a blue for this example um, and turn off specular and okay that's it so now click on the white uh, orb and just drag it onto the bottom layer and then click on the blue and drag it onto the top you can use whatever colors you'd like I'm just using this for an example um, <clears throat> click here to get a light and just drag it up and drag it out and I know a lot of people know this already but I'll, in Photoshop is where the real magic happens uh, so um, yeah sometimes it's good to use two lights okay that's it so uh, Now just line up the camera angle you're happy with and then go into the this option uh, render settings and uh, go output and set it to whatever you'd like I'm gonna use this for an example <coughs> say and then just click save save it where you'd like to save it um, I'm just gonna save it on in my pictures I'm just gonna save it as 1AA because that will show up at the top because mine works in alphabetical order so um, turn on alpha channel and for format go to PNG then down here in, in effects go ambient occlusion and just set that to about a hundred and set this to about a hundred and fifty or two hundred maybe actually and you can mess around with this, some might make it look very bad and you can lower it or make it higher depending on your own judgement. It just gives it a nice kind of finish, a nice smooth shading around parts. So now I uh, just render it out. And as you can see here, this is what I'm talking about, you get a nice uh, shading in between the text here that just looks really cool. Um, I've been meaning to make this tutorial for about three or four weeks but um I just never got around to it I wasn't sure if there was high demand for it but then I said well I have a lot of tips and they might come in handy for a few people so I went ahead and made it so now that your text is rendered open up Photoshop just make a new layer uh, any dimensions you'd like and uh, just import the text you've just made Here's 
paste the text so just bring it down and drag it in the ambient occlusion may be a bit too high for this one so sorry about that but you can you can see what i mean it gives it a shade around here but it depends what style you're going for i think this is kind of a bright color the bright blue so i think the occlusion is a bit strong but uh it would work if it was like a gray or something so okay um so now that you get your text in here go to effects down here and just put a stroke on it you can mess around with these settings these aren't very exact you can experiment with these um change the color um make it might make it blue actually and change the background color uh, no I'll put it black okay just click OK uh, you can put on a pattern if you like and have it very faint it's up to you like you could put on any pattern uh, to download patterns just look up another tutorial it's very simple just click overlay and <clears throat> turn down the opacity to like 10 then gradient overlay this makes it look really nice just click overlay and it just gives it a nice fade upwards and up here is really bright here is dark just looks really nice uh, you can mess around with the scale and stuff but I like how it came out right now so um okay then uh, you can go I like to use inner shadow put distance on 0 put choke on 5 and put size on about 15 um, that just makes it look nice around the edges and drop shadow of course you can mess around with these you can have distance up or whatever you'd like and it's not too precise you can just kind of estimate yourself just click and hope for the best and then click OK and we're almost done as you can see the text looks really nice I'm just gonna put a fade on the background to make it stand out to its full extent um, just go to the gradient tool set it to grey and dark grey just click on the background and uh, click and drag out so uh, yeah that just makes it look nicer and now I'm going to uh, right click on the text layer and go select pixels then go to the uh, what's this called rectangle or whatever tool you know what I'm talking about uh, you can go through a few of these settings I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use elliptical fuck it just click on it and make a new layer and uh, put this setting on this one here and then just pull out oh that turned out perfect and then uh, set your color your foreground color to white and uh, <coughs> just fill that in with white there I just use the gradient tool because it's faster I have to turn it on linear and just select deselect and now turn the opacity of this layer down um, you can mess around with the overlay settings or whatever you want and then yeah that's basically it guys you got nice looking text right there uh, that's how simple it is just a few simple set um, few simple guidelines if you're making your own 3d texts that'd be really nice over a uh, partnered background or down the side it would just work in a lot of good places it just looks really nice you can just quickly merge down the layer and uh, then you have your texts looking very nice indeed so yeah guys uh, hope this tutorial helped this is the last tutorial I'll be making before I get my new computer which should be coming on Monday but the estimated delivery time is never really accurate. But I should be getting it Monday. <coughs> Sorry, I just got up and my throat's all clogged up. But um, yeah, I should be getting it on Monday or Tuesday. It's, I'm really looking forward to getting it. I might make a room tour when I get it. Because yesterday I spent about nine hours cleaning my room. Preparing for it because my room was a shithole. But now it looks like a modern, fantastic room. So I might make um, uh, just a quick vlog just showing my room and showing the new computer so uh yeah guys 
I hope this tutorial helped. Can we get uh, 30 likes? That would be great. So uh, yeah guys, see ya.